Deputy Governor Ibezim commends churches for supporting government's vision. Anambra State Government intensifies campaign on clean environments in only chair markets. Presidential Election Tribunal adjourns to May 10, set to hear PDP LP petitions on Tuesday. Russia launches biggest drone attack on Ukraine. Before the news in detail, here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround the maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of Kaiba values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. And now the details of the news. I am Priska Wangwo. The Deputy Governor of Anambra State, Dr. Nyeka Chuku Ibezim, has commended religious bodies in the state for supporting the present administration of Professor Chukuma Saludo, saying that together the dream of a new Anambra will be actualized. Dr. Ibezim gave the commendation during church service as a marker at All Angels Church, Nofia, in Njikoka, local government area. The Deputy Governor said that the government of Professor Saludo is for all and will partner with all groups that mean well for the state. He used the opportunity to recognize the efforts of women in the development of any society, encouraging them to continue their good work. Earlier, the vicar of the church, Venerable Ifani Ume, who spoke on the topic, Miracle of Multiplication by God, reminded Christians of the need to always trust in God, no matter what comes their way, noting that whatever God allows into one's life is very purpose and is good for all. Venerable may encourage Christians to seek the infilling of the Holy Ghost. Her personality, he said, is a gift from God to those that love him, to guide them in all things for the actualization of his purpose for them. The service featured tents given by Reverend Victor Mobi, one of the priests of the church, remarks the sport of Fort's birthday celebration. Ide Akwenze Laboratory is an ICT complex built by Ide Ezani in Zikubo Foundation under the chairmanship of Chief Iken Naokafo has been commissioned and handed over to the Catholic Diocese of Ecolobia. The one-story ultra-modern complex is situated at the Dominic Savio Seminary at Mu in Ombasad, local government area. Emmanuel Chibota, our correspondent, has more on the story. <laughs> The chemistry, biology, and physics laboratories and ICT complex, which are worth over 39 million naira, have been fully equipped with all needed materials and chemicals, while she for Kafo also donated books to the school library for the mental development of the seminarians. The Catholic Bishop of Ekulobia Diocese, Peter Cardinal Obaleke, blessed and commissioned the facility which attracted the Catholic Bishop of Newi Diocese, Most Reverend Jonas Benson Okoye, wife of the donor, Dr. Esther Okafo, clerics and seminarians. Cardinal Obaleke thanked the benefactor and wife for the project handed over to the diocese. We gladly receive this gift. In case I can eat it, I pray. Reverend Esther, and everyone has to eat it. In a welcome address by the rector of the seminary, Reverend Father Anthony Akabuogo, who assured to utilize the facilities well, thanked Ide Akweze for counting the seminary community among the beneficiaries of his generosity and contributions towards human development, church, and society at large. We have gathered this afternoon in thanksgiving to God for his goodness to us, most especially for the gift of these laboratories and ICT complex. He gave to our diocese and seminary through the instrumentality of Sir Ikenna Okafo Ide Akwese. Handing over the keys to the diocese, the donor, Shifu Kafo, said the project was born out of his commitment to impact positively on the lives of the young ones towards education and part of his contributions to the society, assuring the church that he will continue to support her development and that of the society. He said education is the greatest investment to human beings and revealed that the facility will prepare the seminarians for the future to enable them to achieve their goals, urging them to study hard. Whenever you mention education, you have to, people that are interested in the future, start listening and I'm proud about the future. That is why 
uh, continuously invest in education. Presentation of artistic portraits, awards and gifts to the benefactor by the seminary and Catholic Diocese of Ekulobia capped the event, which also featured dance by the seminarians. Emmanuel Shibata for ABS News. Market leaders have been urged to ensure that traders keep to the approved trading areas and maintain all basic environmental requirements. The managing director of Operation Clean and Healthy Enumbra or Child Brigade, Comrade Celestin Anere, gave the advice when he led the enforcement team of the agency to attend the market through Amubi Street, Opiweka, to ensure that drainages are distilled and structures built on drainages are also removed. Our correspondent, Chibuzo Bidike, tells us more. The different places visited, Comrade Anere warned shop owners and plazas around the locations to remove every illegal structures on the drainage, clear and ensure proper sanitary regulations in and around the markets or risk being fined. Wondering why residents and property owners will wait for government to clean up their surroundings that they reside and do businesses daily. According to him, the agency is saddled with the responsibility of of ensuring cleanliness, orderliness, and decorum across the state, especially markets and residential areas, and maintained that the agency is committed to carrying out its duties effectively. During the inspection, structures blocking drainages and causing havoc on streets, markets, and environs were removed, and traders cleared off the road to ensure smooth vehicular movements. Some suspects were arrested for collecting illegal taxes and impersonating government officials in different areas, upon which one of the suspects were caught with an apron and confessed to having indulged in such because others are doing so. From Onicha, Chibuzo Bidiki, ABS News. The Anambra State of Asia of the Deeper Life Bible Church, Pastor Jude Chukocha, has urged Christians not to deviate from the divine purpose of God's calling in their life or else the devil will destroy them. Pastor Chukocha was speaking during a combined Sunday service of the church at his headquarters in Oka, reminded the faithful to stand with God no matter the condition they face, and even if the whole world is against them. Correspondent Emmanuel Chibata takes the story from here. Deeper Life Pastor, who emphasized how Deborah in the Holy Book stood out for God at the time when the Israelites were in trouble, advised the congregation to serve God with a pure heart and stand with Him to make them an instrument to destroy the works of the devil. Pastor Chukwasha told the church to be careful about how they live their lives because their decisions today will determine their future, while reminding them that the Christian call is a call for battle, hence the need for them to stand firm with God. The Anambra State Women Leader of the Deeper Life Bible Church, Mrs. Rose Chukwasha, urged Christians to run away from sins and hunger for righteousness, especially in these perilous times, to achieve the purposes of God towards them. The pastor in charge of Amiko Group of Dick Street, Pastor Donatus Undum, said it is pertinent for every true believer to emulate the lifestyle of Deborah, who was outstanding and stood for the people of Israel to defeat their enemies, urging Christians to be shining light anywhere they are. Christianity is not milk and butter, it's also a battle. The battle against powers of darkness and to establish the knowledge of Christ upon people that are grouping in darkness. The church service was capped with choir renditions, testimonies, prayers, praises, and thanksgiving. Emmanuel Shibata for ABS News. Still to come on the news. Presidential Election Tribunal adjourns to May 10th, set to hear PDP-LP petitions on Tuesday. Russia launches biggest drone attack on Ukraine. Here is a special message. Governor Chukwumasa Ludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of Kaibo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. The news returns after this time out. Stay tuned. Protein breakfast. Get smart for a great day. How do I know? Because my daddy goes to work feeling good and always with a smile. Mommy is always filled with confidence. My sister is always in tune. And for me, learning new things becomes absolute fun. That's because all day and every day, the peak goes on. Start your day with a peak protein breakfast. Peak. Reach for your peak.
house refreshment is goodness to go round. Introducing the Peak Yogurt Drink 1 liter full house pack with more refreshment which contains fresh cow milk. Enjoy full house goodness filled with essential vitamin and minerals. Peak, reach for You're welcome back to the news. At today's hearing, the tribunal headed by Justice Haruna Samani adjourned the continuation of pre-hearing proceedings to Wednesday for the petition of the Labour Party and P2B and that of the Action People's Party, APP. Tuesday's proceedings will have the petitions of Atiku Abubakar and Allied People's Movement in its shadow. Having rejected the outcome of the polls, Atiku and Obi approved the presidential election petition tribunal to an alternate victory. The tribunal, headed by Justice Haruna Samani, assured all parties involved that justice will be served. In attendance at today's pre hearing, are lawyers to the petitioners, journalists, Governor Simon Lalong of the ABC, and Mr. Obi of the PDP. The Anglican Bishop of Agwata Delsa, the Right Reverend Samuel Azer Fall, says for God to do a miracle, certain laws of gravity must be suspended. In a sermon at a Redeemer's Chapel of St. Catherine Comprehensive Secondary School in Anka, in Norm but not local government area, during a service of confirmation and admission into the Girls' Guild, Women's Guild and Anglican Christian Men's Fellowship for the school community, Bishop Azofo said that the life of Jesus Christ is full of miracles and urged the faithful to always engage in those acts that will make them benefit from the miracles and work of God. Right Reverend Azofo reminded ministers of God of the need to preach those teachings that will make the faithful inherit the kingdom of God, pointing out that the promise made by God in both Ascension and Pentecost is for the benefit of all. He charged Christians to always allow the Holy Spirit of God to regulate their lives to record successes in all their various endeavors. In a remark, the principal of the school, Reverend Sunday Chijoke, and the chaplain of the chaplaincy, Reverend Franklin Olisemeka, who thank Bishop Azor for for the visits, charged Christians to always make a positive difference wherever they are to be more souls for Christ. The service was facilitated by the supervising priest of Nanka Archdeaconry, Reverend Kanon Ifani Mwemene. Air raid sirens have sounded across Ukraine after Russia launched a fresh wave of drone and missile strikes. Explosions were heard overnight in the capital of Kyiv, where the mayor said five people had been injured in the biggest kamikaze drone attack so far. One person was killed in the attack in the southern Odessa region. Ukraine's Red Cross says its warehouse was also hit. It marks the fourth attack in eight days on Kyiv and comes just 24 hours before Russia celebrates Victory Day. Nigeria international Victor Osihen on Sunday became the highest scoring African in Serie A history after letting the police only go in their 1 0 win over Florentina at the Diego Maradona Stadium. Osihen saw one penalty save before scoring another as the champions marked their Scudetto celebrations and music carnival atmosphere. Osihen's 47th goal in Serie A was also his force from the penalty sports. The Napoli striker claimed a slice of history with his game-winning strikes, a person we with 46 goals to become the highest-scoring African player in Italian top-flight history. The Super Eagles forward had equaled Wii's record for the highest African goal scorer in Serie A with his massive goal against Udines, which helped Napoli to clinch their first Serie A title in over three decades. Remember, you can follow news and program on ABS on many part of the world by liking our Facebook page at ABS Radio Television. Subscribe to our YouTube page at ABS Television Orca and follow us on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. You can log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. To end the news, a recap of the main points. Deputy Governor Ibe Sim has commended churches for supporting government's vision. Anambra State Government has intensified campaign on clean environments in all HM markets. Presidential Election Tribunal has adjourned Seton to May 10, set to hear PDP LP petitions on Tuesday. Russia has launched the biggest drone attack on Ukraine. Governor Chukwuma Saludo has conferred total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. That ends the evening news at this time on ABS television. Thanks for watching. I am Friska Wangwo. Good evening and have a wonderful night rest. <laughs>